It's just me as usual. <laughs> Wait. Uh, hi, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to heaven. Welcome back to me. Um, happy April Fools. Unfortunately, even though today, yeah, even though today it, it, we are we finally we had a stream that aligned with April Fools. We're not doing anything for it, and that's the joke. That's the April Fools today. There is no joke. You you can spend the entire stream on the edge of your seat and nothing will happen. There is no joke. I, for one, have never done anything for April Fools. If I did say a lie, it was for my it was my usual thing where I'd say a lie that was very obviously a lie. Or I'd just tell you straight out that it was a lie right after saying it. Give you an April Fool's joke right now. Um, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> if you're wondering what that entire pause was, it was actually me thinking. <laughs> like, I literally, like, I stopped and I just stared blankly at my lamp. Yeah. Uh, I've never been one to do April Fools. I've always been like... I don't know. I thought it was more honorable to not do April Fools, be that one, that one safe haven. Oh, you know, I'm not a student anymore. I don't have anyone to protect. I'm a free student. I'm a free, 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 free something. I'm something. I'm something that's free. She hit you on the roof. <laughs> Damn, dude. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't have any April Fools thing. The most I thought was changing my model, but then I got too lazy. Um. So yeah, the April Fool's jokes for today is that there is no joke for today. We will continue to work as usual. And then if you don't trust me, you can spend the entire stream on edge looking for a joke that never happens. And then the joke will be you. Other news, uh, today our stream plan is that I'm gonna draw for a bit and then we're gonna start playing another visual novel. Yes, I'm aware that we have Nameless to finish and I'm starting another visual novel. Let this be the April Fool's joke 
I tell you we're doing a visual novel, but it's not nameless. We'll be doing a different visual novel, one that's has Japanese voices, probably. And the only voice I'll probably have to do is the heroine. God, can you imagine that? Me voicing a woman? Never in my life. Never in my life. It's the holdest to finish it. We do need to finish Nameless. We only just got on to the first route. But yes, first we'll be drawing. Because, uh, I had a dream this morning. And it was about a, a torture team. A vigilante torture team, so I will be drawing my vigilante torture dream for my for my dream, as aptly put at me. And that's our plan. So I'll fin I'll draw them, and then when most of our audience has left, we'll finally get to the good part of playing a, a dating sim. So, what we're really doing is weeding out the, the weaklings. And once they're- they're- once they're- once they're perished, there'll be more boys for us to enjoy. With our fewer numbers. Only the strong get hot boys. That is the law of this this world. Let's get the spread. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I don't really have much to say. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else I did. I've been mostly sleeping. I say that, but I'm awake at night. Um, I sleep and I'm awake, but I don't do anything. I was mostly resting. My hands been kind of funky lately, so... Um, the most pressing concern I have right now is that one of my gotchas won't update on my phone because I don't have any space on my phone. I deleted- I had like 3,000 photos and I deleted like a thousand photos, but still not enough. Um, I deleted Duolingo from my phone and now I- d I didn't do Duolingo today. I didn't do Duolingo today, hold on! We're not doing the Lego as Drew. Um. Sire moons? Saint Seiya? What are you talking about? Saint Seiya?
I'm, I'm doing it right now. Um, I forgot to do Lingo, but not for my Duolingo. I'm still doing it right now, but, uh, so one of my gotchas, two of my gotchas needed to update, and I could only, in the end I was only able to update one, and the other one I can't update yet. I don't have enough space on my phone, and I'm like, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. At this point, I'm wondering why I should just delete more photos. Um, all a thousand of those photos were Genshin Impact photos. And that gave me enough room to, to delete, to like, that and Duolingo apparently gave me enough room to upload to update one gotcha. The other one remains unupdated. Yeah, I couldn't update the other game. I only could update one game, and I'm really sad because it's like I don't, I don't want to give up on the other game. I'm not ready to give up on that other game. I've been interested in Tokimeki uh, Memorial, the the dating sim of Japan, like the standard, like that's just the dating sim series, like the normal ones. Also, I've hit 300 days in Duolingo. Uh, Tokimeki Memorial. Um, hold on. Wait. Uh, wrong one.
I just hope you. Hold on, I can actually just type it in chat. Hold on. Tucky Mickey. Net more real. There you go. This is the 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 traditional dating sim. There's like there's not any twists and turns, like no guy's secretly a mafia or he's a robot or this guy's an alien. It's just like the modern day standard dating sim. This is the base game of base games. Um Toki Maki Memorial will only get you the girls. If you have if you want the guys, you have to put Toki Maki Memorial girl side. And then you get all the guys. What interested me though was that apparently every game had a childhood friend, and I was like, ooh. Ooh. They have every Every- every game has a childhood friend who will establish the... Like, the legend of the- of the game, like this romantic legend. Like, you know how some dating sims are like, if you confess to this person on the rooftop on this day, your love will come true, like those kind of legends? Like, in every Tokimeki Memorial Girl side, your childhood friend is the one who tells you like, the romantic legend. It's the fucking one with Kaz Yeah, the one with Kazuma! I talked about him a bit. He was- I- I died. Watching Kazuma. Kazuma's your childhood friend from the latest game. No, it didn't come. I had like a fucking sneeze and it was just like, it edged me and did it. I fucking blue balled my sneeze. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dying inside. <laughs> um, Kazuma is your childhood friend from the fourth game. Uh, what interested me most was, um, one, the childhood friend from the first game looks kind of like a space case. He looks kind of cute. He, look, he looks super cute. Um, the one from the second game looks like, you know, like the kind of tough on you, Cindere type. And then the one from the third game, there's two of them! There's two childhood friends in the third game. And they're and they're and they're delinquents. Not only are you two childhood friends in the third game and they're delinquents, they're also brothers. I was like, that's so spicy. That's so spicy. You get two childhood friends and they're both delinquents and they're brothers! Cause like one one of the brothers is like you know the stereotypical tough guy, and the other one's the more pretty boy delinquent. And I was like, wow. I love that. I I was so fucking excited about like the fucking delinquent boys. Like, del not only delinquent boys, they're brothers, that adds some character. Not only that, your childhood friends. 
That's so spicy. I love delinquents that are your childhood friends. That's so spicy. I love these kind of tropes. I love these kind of things. Oh, Teddy just forced an ad to play. Uh, hold on, I have to open up Twitch. You're... <sighs> okay, hold on. Google's Twitch. Google's my own Twitch page. Alright, we're getting a 30 second ad. Um, last- we did have some issues with ads before, but hopefully they work. Here it goes, it's- ad's coming. Thanks for the water, Alien. Uh, for those in Archive, the ad should be rolling right about now. Or for people who the ad isn't working for, there should be an ad right about now. And the ad's over. Welcome back. You're skipping out on paying me 0 0.01 cents, Jay. Also, welcome. I need that 0 0.01 cents. How dare you deprive me of it? Bastard. Bastard bitch face. Go earn it then. Go make 0 0.01 cent. Go do a commission for 0 0.01 cent. And then come back to me. And pay me that. Yeah, I think it's like no ads for subs because it's it's supposed to be like when you're subbed, you pay me when your sub when your description goes out, become a sub again, and that's where I get a majority of the sub money for renewing it. But since you guys are gift subs, you won't be renewing it, so. I just gotta hope someone decides that they, they'll sugar daddy you again and buy you another gift sub. If I want your money, that is. Which I don't, because I don't I don't know what to do with it. I still haven't done anything with the last money I got. That my first fifty dollars I earned, I didn't I haven't done anything with it. I haven't I don't know what to do with it. I was thinking of trying to get it to for my gacha fund or something, but then I just forgot about it. And then I watched in despair as a banner went by and then I cried. Why 
buy other things. <laughs> if there's not worth fifty dollars. If I could buy Aether with fifty dollars, I'd be concerned. That's okay. I don't need the merch. Commission an Aether. Commission who? Myself? I really sent the $50 back to myself. There's no place that sells takoyaki around here, dude. Not anymore. I already have enough socks. I have an entire box full of socks. Your trickery. Let's <laughs> play games. That's true. I don't know what games I want. Oh, I'm adjusting my microphone. Okay. Becky Memorial, Japan only. And if I was if I was gonna buy a game, I'd rather buy the the one where you stare at a guy through security cameras in his jail cell. I want to play that that game. Not dating some. Uh, Torawara no Palm. Um, okay, so essentially, the games, it used to be mobile games. They used to be mobile games, but they ported it to Switch. Um, so each game only features one dude as your love interest. Um, what? What it is is that the I only know the plot of the first game. I don't know the plot of the other games. Um, the first game, there is a guy. There's an island, and you're you're being called as a counselor to try and get information out of this guy that's been locked up here on the island. He has lost all of his memories and is being kept here on the island because. He has information pertaining an incident on the island, apparently, and you're here to try to like coax that information out of him. But he's he's an amnesiac, so so your interactions with him are limited to the like you know like prisons where there's a glass wall between you two, yeah, and you just kind of sit sit at, sit across from each other. It's that. So you're either talking to him directly through that, or you're messaging him over the phone. And then on your phone, you have an app that acts as a bunch of cameras in his room, and you can just watch him live his life. And then he kind of mumbles to himself when he's in his room. So you can just kind of listen in to him. And then you can buy him shit, like a lamp. And he was like, thanks for the lamp, I can see stuff on my desk now. And shit like that. 
Or like, how do you know I need a new tooth toothbrushes? And shit like that. Or like you buy him like a cactus or a plant thing and he's like, thanks, I have some company. And then you just kind of watch him take care of the plant. You buy him a watering can and I'm just like, haha. <laughs> you got it, baby boy. I'll buy you anything you want. It's also Japan only. Yen. Yeah, but like, so, of course the incident- I don't remember exactly what the full plot was anymore, but like, of course the incident involved you. He used to know you when you were a child, and you were also involved in the incident, and that's why you had left the island in the first place. Though you don't remember that anymore. And I guess he stayed, like, Waiting for you. Because he wouldn't respond to any of the other counselors they tried to get in, and he wouldn't respond even to you when he realized you weren't- you were talking from a script. But once you start talking to him with your own words, then he starts responding to you. And I like it because the way you treat him during the, I guess, the interrogation scenes with the glass wall between you is like, influences how he thinks you're treating him. Like, because the dude tends to zone out when he thinks, so he, he goes, he'll just go quiet during the interrogations sometimes when you ask him something. He has like his hood pulled over his head and waits to get comfortable, he kind of pulls it down, but, but like, um, so he just kind of goes quiet when he's thinking, and you have the option to like, 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 knock on the glass to get his attention again, or you can just sit there and let him think. And if you do, he actually does comment on what you've done for him. So he's like, you know, you're always, you're always like snapping me out of it, or he'll comment like that, you know, you're either you're always snapping me out of it, or you always let me think. Like you always give me time to think. You're always patient with me. So he actually does, like, take note of how you treat him during the interrogations, and I was like, ooh. What was the game? Toto- Toa Water No Palm. Hold on, I'll send it to you. Um, yeah, yeah, Teddy got the name. Never mind. The it was originally a mobile game, so it kind of had that like that mobile feel of like when you unlock things, and that kind of like oh, this is where the this is where you put your real money in, isn't it? There's also these sections that are completely mini games where you just kind of, you know, you know the mini games, the skin shit mini games where you just get the poke and prod of the dude in the right places and he makes noises at you and then you fill up a bar. There's also a mini game like that. Wait, I was just looking at all the at all the Google images and there's one where he fucking licks his lips. I'm crying. What the hell is that? I've never seen that. What is why is he licking his lips? I need context, Pronto.
There's two guys. Um, the Switch version put the first and the second game together. And you usually can buy it as a two-in-one. As far as the game goes, I think they only ever made three. So there's like, they made the two guys they put on the same disc, and then they made a third guy later on a separate one. Anyways, I super want that game. Okay, Yen. Hold on, I'm gonna break into Japan and buy it. I really want that game. <laughs> really want to play it. Really want to treat you right. Really want to take care of you, baby girl. <laughs> I want to buy you a lamp, and toothbrushes, and, and a little plant, and a watering can. Sugar daddy him, I wish I could. I wish you let me. Some of the dating sims I've been looking at lately. Tokyo okay, Memorial Girl Side has a lot of art and pixels, so I was like, ooh. Like, even the guys aren't as hot in the game. The people on Pixiv are like really gung ho about their own adventures and their own fantasies, and, th and then that really starts like getting me interested in the guys. Like most things, if the original, if I can enjoy the original, the way the fans love them will get me to like them too, because, I don't know, the way the fans portrayal characters always has a lot of love put into it. And then, feeling that passion, I can feel like I can love that that character the same way too. It's, it's a special feeling. Because, like, there's- sometimes there's something a little different when you look at the official work, like, the- the way- the way the, like, an official artist, the official creator, might look at their own creation, might not be the same way that, like, like... Like, they may not love their creation the way their fans would, and then their fans love in a way that I can understand, and then I could love the character too, because I understand what is lovable about them, like, the, the fans will see what's lovable about the character, that the creator doesn't necessarily care to exhibit. Like, some creators are just there to, like, make a story, and it doesn't really matter for them. And then you get the fans who... who will, sh who will show what is lovable about someone, and then you're like, oh, I see now. This is the good in you.
So, I don't know, I like being on Pixel. It's a special thing. Adjusting my mic again because it's covering up like a third of my screen as usual. It's not filling up a third of my screen, it's filling up one fourth of my screen. That's the right number. That's the- that's the- that's the fraction I needed. I just pulled out my earplug! Ah! Okay, we're back in. My- my earplugs are connected to my computer, which is where my legs are. So every time I adjust my legs, I ended up hitting the wire with my earplugs. And then that's how I yank them out every time. Anyways, uh, you can ignore my text down there. Um, hold on, my, or we're discussing the fact that my tablet's not working right now. Hold on. Ah! Okay, I got it. I got it. Thanks for the water. Anyways, I had a dream this morning and that's what I'm drawing. Statistic vigilante, yeah. We were a vigilante. I was part of a vig I was the leader of a vigilante torture team. No, I don't know how old we were. We were like late teens to like early twenties, so I couldn't tell we were like a high school compass like a high school or like a college compass. Um, there are, there were, there were five people mentioned total, six maybe, but, um, I only remember what, like, four looked like, which is my team. I only remember what my team looked like. Not the guy that we were torturing in my dream. <laughs> Even though, like, I only saw three of them. Actually, I only saw two of them. I only saw two people, because... One of them was me, and I couldn't see myself, but I still knew what I looked like for some reason. Um, there was also another guy that never showed up, but I knew what he looked like for some reason. I guess because I knew him, so of course I knew what he looked like. I'm not a character designer. So the team consisted of like three guys and one girl. Um, I was also one of the guys. Why 
remember the first one to down to torture. I guess so. The guy we were torturing was some jock bully who apparently had killed a girl and had had submerged her body in a tub full of orange juice, like a bathtub, to I guess disguise the smell of her body before dumping her somewhere. And I decided, I was like, yep, that's the guy. Let's get him. Did it a pulp? I don't know. I wasn't the one who took the photo, so I don't think I saw the actual tub myself. Um, the one who took the tub was my dog. Not my dog, uh, my- I was, I was about to call him my little bitch. Um, that's what my- that's what the- who I was- the character I was in my- in my dream. My character in my dream was, like, really crass. Um, and this- so, like, this is- this was me. This was my dog. He's not actually a dog, but I called him like my dog, my puppy, pup, and then I called him my little bitch. Um, so you can guess what kind of character I was. I was my own type, that's true. Like, I wish- I wish I was dog guy. I wish I had someone calling me. <laughs> Call me pup pup. Call me fucking puppy. Call me fucking... Little bitch. <laughs> But only someone who I feel like deserves to call me a little bitch. You have to earn it. You have to earn my respect first before you can call me disrespectfully. It's not- it's not a position I give to just anybody. In other news, I've been up since 4am and I'm kind of- my eyes are kind of like drooping. I'll wake back up in a bit, but for right now I'm kind of dozing off. Like, I need to get past this sleepy phase before I wake up again. So yeah, I've been up for since 4 a.m. and I started talking to someone at like 8. So I've been talking for like 11 hours and then I started streaming. <laughs> We'll here, I'll do the, the sketch for the other two. Short stream, like six hours? I guess we could. That takes me help. That's how, like, a lot takes me to draw.
Five hour stream. Now you're pushing it. I remember someone say three hours of the long stream. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Is it really a stream? It was not even six hours, at least, at the very least. I'll ruin you. I'll ruin all of you. And your idea of a long stream. What's happening? I'm drawing guys that appear in my dream again. Because I've been getting a lot of dreams lately. That's my uh, torture team. Vigilante torture team. Alright, my torture team consisted of me, my, my, my dog, slash little bitch, slash puppy, that I trained. Apparently a former victim of the bully we were, we were torturing. The, the, the bully jock we were torturing, um... I picked him up after he got a beatdown from the guy, and then I trained him into my dog, I guess. To it. You've watched me draw a shit ton. My, my understanding is advancing every day as I look at, I don't know, bodies, I guess. That sounds pretty bad. Oh yeah, so my dog, me, the sadistic bastard I am, who gets my kicks out of beating the shit out of people, but I'm like, I can't- I should do it for good reason. So I get into a little less trouble. So I picked- I started out my vigilante torture group, where we pick off pe bad people from the campus, the student campus. So it was me, my dog, who actually- besides the fact that he's fucking ripped as shit, he's- Tall as fuck, he's ripped as shit, and he actually punches like a fucking truck. Um, he actually works in, like, stalking? And information gathering? And then delivering it to me? He also- he just does a lot of the grunt work. He does, like, all of the grunt work, in fact. Like, he does all the information gathering, he gets all the evidence, he be he knocks out the- the target, he drags him into our, our basement torture chamber. He built our torture rack we, we, we like, tie the victims to. But when it comes to the actual, like, beat the shit out of the guy, that's me. 
That's what I'm here for. Like, I just want to beat the shit out of people. You bring me the guys. I trained you to bring me the guys. I trained you to fetch, pup. Is the gist of it, I guess. So, there's us two. Also, he seemed to like- I think he gets most of his kicks from watching me beat the shit out of people. So... It looks more like he stares at me while I do it, but... And then the other is a nun got an, a nun, a nun who's like, I guess, I don't know. She's on something. I call, I call. She refers to it, and I call it for her little pieces of heaven. She's on something. Uh, the former, the latter. She's like, she's a very soft-spoken and very, like, floaty, airy kind of girl. And it doesn't really seem she has, like... She knows that she's... What she thinks we're doing, I guess, or how she interprets it, is that we are... We are guiding lost lambs back to the path of God. Do torture. They must withstand these trials of purification. And it's like she has no actual like sadistic ill will. Like, she has no sadistic bone in her. This is just genuinely what she believes is right to do. And she's just very soft and like... It's just like, you know, like... Just, just... Floaty. Like, she's in a whole- she's like in a whole different world. And my character apparently speaks really softly and kindly to her. And like, indulging her. Her thoughts. Which gets my dog jealous sometimes, but that's just how it be. She also calls all of us, like, her brothers. None of us are actually related, but like, we're like partners in crime, and I guess to her we're like... No, I guess we're like part of her... Part of whatever religion she's... Whatever god she's praying to. Whatever heaven she's imagining. We're all part of that to her. Was to her. We're part of the same mission. So, like, the rest of our group were considered her- were considered brothers to her. So she calls all of us brother. She's very cute, I don't remember that much.
Like, I remember when we were torturing the guy, we had him in for a couple days. Um, I beat the shit out of him on day one, and then I was like, okay, we'll, get, leave, we'll all let the other guys get their turn on the team. And then, like, on, like, day three or something, I don't actually remember, just a couple days, um... <coughs> I got news that he, like, the, the dude was loose in the cellar, because it's not, it's not like a, it's a basement, but it's a whole floor. It's not just, like, one room, it's a bunch of rooms and hallways. So he got loose, and he was now, like, roaming the place, and I had to go put him, you know, stop him. So they called me in, because I was the leader. Thanks for the water, I should drink some. <sighs> so they called me in because I'm the leader, and... The dude's wandering around. And he gets a knife at me. And he almost charges it at me, but then my, my fucking dog comes out of the fucking shadows behind him and kicks the shit out of him. And a dude runs to another room. This man's huge, he is pretty big. But um... When, when I saw the guy again, he was like frothing at the mouth and like scratching at his own neck. And she was just kind of staring at him blankly. And I was like, hi, did you do that? And she's like, yeah, I thought he was hungry. And then I looked at... Like, she, there's a kitchen in the basement for her, and I looked at what she had made, it was like this pot of food, but there's also like a shit ton of like, mysterious capsules, like, all over the counter, and I was like, uh-huh? Did you feed him your pieces of heaven? And she was like, yeah. And then, you know, I kind of looked at the body and I was like, okay, pup, go call our cleaner. And that's the fourth guy. I didn't actually see the fourth guy, but we have a fourth guy and he was our cleaner. I know what he looks like, but I never actually saw him in my dream. Um, out of our group is like, he kind of felt like, I almost want to call him the most normal. It's like he had the most common sense out of the most, the lot of us, I felt like. Or he liked pretending he had the most common sense. Like clearly I was our sadistic bastard of a leader, so he liked taking the role of being the most logical one. And level-headed. He's probably the worst of us. Or, like, he's probably, like, the most sadistic of us. But 
but he's the type that's like kind of like half in denial about it. So he's a repressed kind of psycho. If I had to say who's actually the most common sense, it's actually probably me as the leader. Like, I know how to temper my... my sadistic cravings. And I formed this whole vigilante group for the fucking reason of like... No, we're bastards, but we're beating up other bastards. We're good bastards! Um, actually, we're flickered out right now, which is excellent. But my thing says we are still streaming, so... Hey, we're back. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I guess we're having connection issues. It's okay, you didn't miss much. Cause that one, I don't think it's on my end, or at least I don't think so. Then again, I never know when it comes to Twitch. It just does things sometimes. Well, I didn't touch anything, so... I didn't touch anything, it didn't say my internet went out, um... So if you ask me what the fuck just happened, I have absolutely no idea. As with most things. Um, which one among of you we're having blasphemous thoughts that cause God to, to knock us offline, to knock your, your thought process off. It was not me. Understand, we will sacrifice move to the fire pit. Oh, 
Oh, it moves my time over a minute. Let's do that over. Ugh. I'm suddenly really snoozer. My music stop is asking me if I'm still online. Like, are you still listening? And I'm like, fuck you. I can feel it, the sleepiness of being up since 4 without a single nap. I was sitting in this chair this whole damn day. Nap on the germ. That's the April Fool's joke of the day. We'll see, because it depends on how I wake I am after the, the drowsiness finally seeps off and I enter that like twilight zone of being awake and being sleepy. You spent, you spent a while being sleepy and then I just you just activate. See what happens. Is, or is the April Fool joke that my app, my stream only goes for six hours? Two hours? Who would even? That really isn't me. That really would be April Fools. And it's certainly short through.
You really do get pranked then. Yeah, my time says at hour 22. I still have the time. Next to the water. That's strange because OBS didn't sense that we stopped streaming and then restarted streaming, but Twitch is like, no, you guys, you guys stopped streaming, I felt it. like twitch stop lying to my face but in truth there are two truths and neither of us are wrong not me nor twitch and that is the worst answer we could have gotten do you believe in the trick or magic do you believe in logic or magic? What does a woman's body look like again? I've never seen one in my life. if he believes in magic or logic. I didn't say anything about any series. I think you were jumping to the conclusion, Mr. Man. I dare you accuse me. The answer is yes, and I was a Doobie Necker reference. Come on, dude, how many people have seen Doobie Necker these days? Like, what, two people? What it was. Damn, I wonder who that guy is. Could it be me?
<laughs> Jay. I love Neko's name, Uwe. You're absolutely right, Jay. See cats. What the pearl that misses? Hmm. How much of this? Wait, Teddy's asking for an add to player. Uh, I have to open up Twitch again. Oh, fuck. Alright, Twitch, my page. Um, video producer. Fucking. Uh, 30 second ad break, here we go. It's happening, it's being sent out. Perish. Excellent, there was the ad. It's asking you move. So they're expecting you to get a Honda. You're going to support the government like that?
You have to put driver. Oh shit. Girls plot twist, you were never the one driving. It was me, so I was like, what was my clothes, I guess? Welcome to the guy who calls his boy toy his boy. I say his boyfriend, but I guess boy toy is more accurate. Um, his bitch, little bitch. I was like, they weren't official, but like. He Neither of them were seeing other people, nor were they interested in other people, anyways. It was that kind of thing. It's like, they weren't exclusive, but they weren't interested in other people, and they weren't... And they were just kind of together. Indirectly exclusive, yeah. It's, it's like the, I'm only playing with you, but then I have no interest in anyone else. It was, that, was, that was their kind of relationship. Instead of finding like new toys, I just thought about the dog I had at home and then I just went home. <laughs> it's like I could have gone to, I don't know. I could have gone to pick someone up, hit on someone, but I thought about the dog that was waiting for me at home and I just went back. Decided it wasn't worth the hassle.
I mean, I feel like leader dude, which was me, I guess, um... I was like, for how flippant he is and how, like, he never... They never actually made it official, I feel like he understood. Even he never said it. I was like... Mm. I don't know if- I don't know if he, like, knew if it was something like the kind of love the normal folk have that aren't freaks like him, but he felt like it was something close. If he was the kind of creature who knew love, he felt like this might have been it. Like, it was that kind of feeling for him. I don't- I don't- like, I don't know if I'm the kind of person who can experience love, but I think what I feel for you is something- something similar. That's the kind of feeling he had. It's also because like leader dude's not extremely like the possessive type. It's like I guess I guess he's the type that's like if you if you if you figure out what a normal love looks like to you and you find it somewhere that isn't me, then you can you can go and pursue it because we were never you we were never like that kind of normal love anyways. Like I I won't define our relationship as love until you decide until you say that I'm the kind of normal love you want you want kind of thing. I won't define this as love until you say I'm the kind of love you want. Shut up, you fuck. <laughs>
I don't know. I feel like for like a delinquent running a vigilante group, he was surprisingly like understanding. So I guess, yeah, he's the, he's he has the capacity to let go of someone. Have to decide that like he's not he's not the kind of love that they want. Dog, um, he made the entire grave in the first place. That's true. Hey, I've never heard of this song. What the hell's playing? I guess, I guess the dog's- yeah, I felt like the dog was the more possessive sort. Like, um... For the leader, he kind of gave the, the dog, dog guy, the capacity to fight back. And like now he's kind of like setting he taught he taught how to he taught him how to vent his psycho and now he's like what you do is up to you from here on. But don't get caught, don't get in trouble. Don't make it so I have to catch you if you leave this group. If you decide you don't want to be my bitch anymore, don't let me catch you. I'll teach you how to vent those urges, I'll teach you how to use those urges, but don't ever let me catch you once you leave me. Don't get caught, puppy, kind of thing. And then I guess it's up to Doggy to, you know, 
stick with him through it all and, you know, convince him he's not leaving and going anywhere. Teddy got timed out for 300 seconds. Damn, Teddy, what did you do? Oh, horny gel. Damn, Teddy. No, I have to explain myself. <laughs> Thank you. 
And that's the guy who beats the shit out of people. <laughs> Alright, here we go, doggy. Doggy's face. Um, I remember like when I first saw him, that like most of his hair was pretty shaggy and like I couldn't see his eyes because his hair had overgrown over them. Oh, well, like after I picked him up, I think I felt I felt like he at least got a haircut, but Kind of loomed over me most of the time, so I don't, remember, I don't really remember like looking at his face much. I guess I'm just going for his regular hairstyle and it was just...
Um, how does he beat the leader versus the others in the group? The leader picked him up after he got the shit beat out of him with the question, Are you interested in murder? <laughs> That's exactly what I said to him. I was like, are you interested in murder? And then I had him join my gang. Um... Like, as far as I remember from my dream, um... He seemed to be really attached to the leader, like, he was kind of with me everywhere. And... Um, he followed my orders really well. Like, I send him ahead of me to, like, hide out in a spot. Or, like, you know, he's he does all the grunt work of our team. Like, I said he did- he does all the stalking, he does all the information gathering, he gets the evidence. Photo evidence, he- he's the one who knocks out our target and brings it to the- the, the basement, he's the one who builds the torture rack. But doesn't seem to have much of an interest in actually, like, beating up people himself. More like seeing me beat up people. So he's a bit of a weirdo, too. of the leader compared to the others well like he's really obedient towards the leader just they don't really talk though leader just kind of talks at him and the dude just kind of makes noises at him back or he just goes and he just kind of like wordlessly attaches himself to the leader with his body physically he just kind of stapled himself onto me sometimes to the others. He, he did seem like kind of miffed whenever he had to leave me alone or like when I was interacting with the nun girl like he seemed kind of like jealous that I was I usually talk in a very gentle tone with her. communicate with hair. It was just like really messy. But he is like really easily pacified by the thought of like getting rewards. Because it seems like he understands that like despite me never saying we were official, that like I have actually never been with anyone else since him. Like, I haven't expressed any interest. And that he's the one who gets any sort of, like, special rewards. I think he's the only one I promise special rewards to. Being gentle to her was sort of an interest. Uh... Well, I think she was a later recruit than him. So I guess he's- I think he's just kind of like, cautious towards all of them. Uh, 
I was like, your first dog kind of like, like, huh? Why'd you bring home another one? Like, wait a minute? <laughs> Both mods type in different directions. I don't think I've ever designed a kid that wasn't my type. was that <laughs> so I don't understand jackets. I'm looking at one from Google right now. I looked up thick jacket and I was like, oh. <laughs>
cool. Okay. Um.
was a fucking lollipop stick I always had in my fucking mouth. It was never a cigarette. It was always a lollipop stick. Sure, why not?
Uh, another thing we'll note. Ring necklaces. Mysterio. Today on, we're not official. They were absolutely not official, but they have magic rings. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make a big deal out of this, and, you know, I don't want to make it official or anything. We're still really casual, but, uh, can you accept this ring to pair with mine? I got a custom made for us, engravings in the middle. But, you know, like, it's not a big deal or anything. Both have our socks on. Why oh, you got your socks on? It's not gay. I'm behind in the times. Damn, even Teddy knows it. You know it's bad when even Teddy knows it. I guess I just have to live with being old. I always knew this day would come. That my age would catch up with me. I'm not on the I'm not on the internet much or like I'm not on that section of the internet much. I'm not in like English speaking areas of the internet much. <laughs> I'm mostly I'm mostly where they speak Japanese nowadays. Anyways, yeah, these guys, they guys aren't official or anything, but they've got matching rings and they haven't, they haven't, they haven't been with anyone else since they got, since they got together, unofficially. Got together in an unofficial way.
It's not official or anything, but if you hit on one guy, the other guy will probably kick the shit out of you. But like, it's just casual. <laughs> He's just kicking the shit out of you for a completely unrelated reason. And absolutely not that you're trying to hit on his not boyfriend. They're not dating. It's not his boyfriend. I don't have socks. I don't usually wear socks indoors. I only wear socks when it gets extremely cold in my bed and my body just isn't producing enough. And it's like a dire- I'm in dire need. And then I wear socks indoors. How dare you flirt on him, my not boyfriend? I'm beating you- I'm beating the shit out of you for a reason other than the fact that you hit on my not boyfriend. It's unrelated. I just happen to feel like beating you up. You just deserved it today for no apparent reason. Oh, I've been asked the rest. Only at two hours. But also, hey leader dude, you're not boyfriend's tits are huge. What the fuck? I mean, I knew this in the dream because, like, even when he was, like, when I first met him as the leader dude, because my whole perspective was from the leader dude, but, like... Like, that dude, even when he was getting bullied by Jock, by the Jock guy, um... He was... He was, like, super tall and super fucking built, but he was just, like, cowering on the floor, and I'm like, what is up with you? You look like you can body the guy just by bumping into him. <sighs> I'm like, compared to you, I'm like two feet. I need my two feet ass to come in and tell you how to beat the shit out of a guy. That's exactly what happened. He was too puppy. You're right, he was just like that fucking- he's a- He was just like a- Though. I'll be careful who you make fun of in high school.
Oh, I guess. Wait, if I... If you make this live accurate, I guess it would just actually be like... It's not like leader guy was particularly that small, but standing next to this dude, he's puny. Because I remember he trailed after me and then like... I just remember he was fucking huge. I'm not small, that bitch is just huge. I mean, this is like... This is like, I don't know, like a solid foot, maybe? At the least. Maybe a foot and a half, I don't know. Kinda had a different style from the rest of us. What music is playing right now? Did I just listen to the song? What the hell is going on with this, this selection right now? It's so good, the big codes. They've got like they've got they've got some like fashionable vibes to them. I don't know if leader dude came in, I I drop my pants immediately at the sight of him. He's my type. <laughs> Did my time, did my time. I blew myself for later, dude. Dude, I wish I was that fucking dog. That's true. I I referred like when I was when I was uh when I was leader dude, the way he referred to the other guy was his cute little bitch, and then like, and then when he actually talked to the dude, he'd call him pup or puppy. So like in his head, he called them his little bitch or his doggy, and then when he actually talked to the dude, it was puppy or pup. I depends. I think he really kind of tints it depending on how he sees you. It's 
so I guess you gotta earn it if you want him to call him, if you want him to call you Angel. He's like, he's more the type to call you sweet cakes, honestly. He's, he's a bit crass. It's like sweet cakes or like definitely a honey guy. Like a honey guy or hun. Or even like honey buns. Definitely that type. He calls you that, but it's like with this really this really like lazy confidence. So it's like a hey honey buns, come here. Don't be shy, sweet cakes. That kind of that kind of talk. You don't gotta be nervous around me, sweetums. That fucking tug. Man, new leader's really big time. <laughs> sweet um, sweet one. Does Puppy call the leader anything? He doesn't really talk. Puppy. He just kind of makes noises. In his head? I imagine he calls him by the name. They don't have names, by the way, because they came from my dreams. Um, the only one who has a name is the nun, because she's the only one my dream named. I don't usually give them names unless my dream gave me a name. Sometimes I go back and name them, but... I usually call them whatever they call themselves. But like, I imagine Puppy calls the guy- calls the um, leader by his name in his head, and also, I guess, when they're having a moment. But, like, he doesn't talk. He kind of just makes noises from his throat. Puppy. And then when he does talk, it's, like, really- a really low, deep, but soft voice, so he only, like- he only talks if his mouth is, like, right next to your ear. So that's what he does with with leader here. So if he talks, his lips are already touching leader's ears. You probably feel it more than you hear him talking. I want later to the sweet talk me, damn it! <laughs> I 
Cause like he's he's got such like that 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 lazy kind of confidence. I don't get a lot of characters who have that. But like that lazy confidence, but he's not malicious. He's not mean about it. He's crass and his mouth is bad, but like he's not a mean person. A type that tells you he doesn't bite unless you want him to. I want him to call me Sweetums just once. <laughs> Those are technically called Sweetums around here. By a psychopathic vigilante torture leader. This is regular. Twit bastard group. I've been poked by alien.
And Tony's giving me some water. Damn it, why you have to be made of this weird fuck material? Asshole. It's translucent, his outer coat. He's their cleaner. It's kind of like that weird, like, raincoat material.
He was wearing a normal button-up shirt with a giant fancy raincoat over it. I don't know what kind of fetishes you're awakening right now, Jerry. This is a coach of Milgram, I wouldn't do that. Oh, uh, reminder, this is the guy who thinks he's a normal one. He's not.
What? Did I get disconnected? I thought it was. No, I'm still good. Our heart's finally disconnected, alien. Is that why you can't hear me anymore? Oh, my avatar was jumping. Yeah, sometimes she picks up noise as she starts jumping. Sometimes she picks, picks up me, like, breathing. She also catches my mic moving, or, like, sometimes even if my, my pencil or my keyboard is particularly loud, or my pencil scratches particularly loud, she'll catch that too. It's a 50-50 alien, it's okay. Sometimes my mic does just give up. Thanks for the watcher. sure does. I 
uh, the janitor and the druggie. <laughs> Close. They're free of charge, courtesy of being my child.
Later calls them her pieces of heaven.
Maybe we stopped again. When do I am? I'm here! You can continue playing! He's like, he's like, he's like, the way he thinks is that like, he thinks he's the most normal of the bunch, and he's like, he doesn't want to get, like, found, like, found out that he's, he's not, like, intense enough for this group. So he kind of, he kind of amps up. But then that's just, but then the way he amps up is so fucking nuts. By trying to fit in, he ends up being the wildest of the bunch. Like... Like, um... You know, like, I guess it'd be too normal to, like, kill a guy, right? Or, like, it'd be too normal when you torture a guy to just, like, I don't know, break his fingers. So he's like, what's, what, that's like, they're gonna, they're gonna think I'm, I'm a fucking, like, I don't know, a pansy. So he's like, we're not just gonna, I'm not gonna break his fingers, I'm gonna rip off his nail and hammer down metal nails into where his fingernail used to be. I'll give you new fucking nail. He thinks he's he thinks he's too vanilla, so he's like And then he ends up being the craziest of the bunch because of it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, just, if I just, if I just break your fingers, that'd be too, that'd be too basic, that'd be too normal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip your nails off, and then I'm gonna hammer metal nails into where your nails used to be. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, I fucking... If 
the, the, it's the fact that he can come up with shit like this that you're like, oh. Uh. <laughs> Do I tell you things occurred in the stream? Can I give me some water? Thanks. Anyways, the, the shit he comes up with is so, like, elaborate that, you know, even the leader's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> That's a little messed up. Cause it's like, he kind of specializes in torture. The, the leader is just good at beating the shit out of people, like, Good old pure physical violence, you know, my fist to your face, my foot to your gut. You know, the regular kind. And then here's the guy come and then this is the guy coming in with the hammer and the nail. So he's a he's another he's a whole nother breed of psycho. He hasn't realized it yet though.
Oh, is she crazy? Um, she's never sober. She's never sober, but like, so she's always seeing things. She's always seeing things. She's always hearing things. She's always like, she's always somewhere else. She's alive thanks to God, obviously. As you can tell, most of her, most of her, I guess her trips, all of her trips are centered around God and guiding lost sheep. She's very sincere about what she does. But it doesn't seem like everyone can handle heaven. She's got like an insane. Like tolerance, resistance. So it takes a lot. But like. Kind of like makes her own prescriptions, quote unquote, for lost for lost lambs, depending on their sins. And they're all tested by herself before she feeds them to them, so she doesn't... So, like... When she watches them, like, cripple and pass out in front of the mouth and vomit and spasm and seizure after getting a taste of heaven, she thinks that's the sin. That's like... That's the sin being being cleansed from their body, the fight. And like, it doesn't do anything to her. Like, she doesn't feel it. Like, it, nothing ha happens to her when she takes her dosages. And this is because she is pure, of course. Not that she considers herself herself pure, but she's like, I have not, I have not committed these sins, so of course I'm not going to be. There's nothing to cleanse of me. But she takes it with them anyways. Because it's like, I will bear, I will bear, I will, I will, I will, I'll experience this heaven with you. But you know, the other party usually it just doesn't, can't. <laughs> so 
So it's not like she's just like subjecting her random things to them. She takes it with them too. They're very. She has a process. She has a. She actually puts thought into it. So here we have the risen torture maniac who doesn't realize he's a torture maniac. And then our, our, our poison expert, I guess. Oh, pharmacist. So if uh, if getting the shit beat out of you doesn't make you fess up to your crimes, um, then either the torture guy or the medical disaster will kill you. Will get you to confess. Pick your poison. You should just confess while you still have the leader. is that she calls all the other guys of the team brother because they are like to her they are all part of the same the same cause Have any of them taken her drugs? Uh, not of this group, actually. Um... They don't need it, because they are... They're, they're not committing sins. They're also guiding lost lambs to her.
kind of use them as like different trials from God. She is just one of many that can give you a trial. It's a weird ass cast. My dreams are so weird. Like, thanks. What, am I, what the fuck am I supposed to do with these really detailed ass characters? Well, they're cute. And weirdly detailed. Wait, I guess if we assigned animals to the other two, I guess we gotta sit here for these zero. What are their vibes? What are their vibes? You say a dub for the last like she's down the bar and you're asking me to slide her a drink that you bought her. Lamb is also good. I mean, that- I guess that includes- Hmm. I'm like two- I'm like two seconds from making a fucking weasel of some sort. Some pummel looking bitch.
hamster. Have I drawn a hamster in my life that wasn't Hamtaro? <laughs> I mean, this guy's a squirrel also works for him. Hamster that bitch has. Alright, Hamtaro, come back to me! Uh, Hamtaro is like... Hard their life.
Uh. Uh. What are you doing for none? So Damn, that's a light out. Shaky hands are excellent, because that means he might miss when he hammers the nail into your finger.
Wow, oh, my stomach was in sync with the engines that were rubbing outside my window. Also, that was a really long growl at me. At my own stomach. I heard the roar of the bike, so my stomach was like, I must respond in kind. Went through the water and asking me to rest. These kind of things don't show up in the archive on YouTube, so I have to say it with my mouth. So people in the archive are like, oh, something, something came in. Maybe I don't know. You came back to look at your own track log and like, didn't I? Didn't I send something at this time? And I'm like, I got you. I said it in my mouth. It did happen. You're not hallucinating. Maybe I should let you hallucinate when it's true. Why'd you figure it out by yourself?
There we go, our, our heart chart. And also them without their coat. I was trying to get the four hours, that's why. I was like, okay, just a little more. Of my timer. Now, usually, what? Um, they're very good. They're cute. Uh, welcome to the torture tube. Hold on. <laughs> Quietly Googles it. Okay. Here they're 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 working in the back, getting rid of all evil on your campus, your school campus. Are they high schoolers? Are they college students? We just don't know. Like, because I wanted to move on to, like, the dating sim, but I could also keep drawing. Um... Like, I can see if I can try to put colors in these kids, but... Because I also needed to make, because I'm drawing, I can also make a thumbnail. I typically do drawing last, so I always make a thumbnail to finish it off. But I also don't know what to do right now, because, like, if we switch... If we switch gears, um... That means we'll have half a drawing stream, half the the visual, not the dating sim, and then I'll have to split the stream. But if we keep drawing, I can keep it all into one stream. Been up until four. But 
takes him. Hmm. You know what? I'll tell you what. Tell you what. I'll I'll make we'll make the thumbnail from these guys. And then and then I guess we split the stream. Okay. Vote. Who's not going on the thumbnail? <laughs> I could also just the fuck yes. <laughs> Okay, so it's it's your time. <laughs> Okay, we'll do both, the leader and the hamster. Specifically the hamster, not, not cleaner. There's our clickbait. I get smaller and smaller every thumbnail. Finally, all my years of playing the fucking Hamtaro DS games brought to fruition.
cool. Now I have to save these two. Ugh. Where are they? Where are they? Where's my stream folder? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll cut this in half. Cool. Okay. Um. I've gone. I've vanished. I'm not here. I've been lost into the war. Uh, what happened to me? Why am I not here? Oh, yeah! Hey. Wait, I found it. I found myself. We're still here. I got it. I guess when I hit like control alt or like the control Z, it undid me here too. Okay, so. We will be wrapping up this stream and then opening up a new stream to do Amnesia. Memories, the dating sim. So, I'll see you in like one minute. And we will, we will be back. See you, see you in like two minutes. <laughs>